Welcome back to Celebrity Radio. It's Alex Belfield talking to two huge, great, big, whopping stars who have never been bigger. They're Connor, they're Les, they're how are you? Stars. They're the whopping <laughs> stars on their own, aren't and they? have never been bigger. <laughs> and talk about a backstop. Wait until you see that. <laughs> not everybody likes you, do they? You have got your knockers. I have got my knockers. <laughs> they tend not to last very long, though. You know what I mean? They yeah, they're too scared. The they're too scared. I was scared when I was playing Michael, and uh, this one was feeling. Um, I was so scared that I got killed, and in the end, I came back for more and suggested that we did Felina and Michaela. So we've had a gender swap, and we're here in Cinderella, the best panto of them all. We're yeah. so excited, aren't we? Really? Does it ever become normal when you look in a mirror and you look back and see this? Yes. <laughs> How about that? <laughs> like most things can become normal, aren't they? Yeah, he goes home like that. I was, <laughs> say, I, I, I was saying to Les, it was my it was, it was my first panto. You may or may not know last year. Uh, so very lucky to be alongside my great friend here. But whose idea it was that we should do it. What what a revelation! And of course, we get so used to putting these things on. I kind of missed them. So to come in <laughs> to come in this morning and see the costumes in the in the, in the dressing room, it's like. Ah, it's my old friends. Yeah, 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 yeah. You brought it from home, didn't I you? Did, you I did, I did. That was a pleasure. Busted. <laughs> Busted. These cold winter nights. The thing is about this panto this year in Nottingham, I mean, you've basically rehearsed it for five weeks in Manchester, so we get a yes. proper version. It's going to be marvellous. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we did We did, uh, We did. did a, a wonderful run um, at the Opera House in Manchester. We had a great time. And so we are really thrilled because we know what we've got up our sleeves. That, last year, we didn't know because it was the first time Connor had done panto. Yeah. It was the first time we'd worked together in that situation. Yeah. But it just went you know so well so we know we have a great show and a fantastic cast great. and yeah. it's actually not a copy of the show last year there are some really exciting additions yeah. to the show so yeah. you might have been joking but in actual fact this show has been refined it's great yeah. so much to look forward to in it really and again it's going to be bigger and better than ever you've got Sutty this year and, yeah. and Richard of course is a world class magician and he's going to bring that spectacle to it yeah. but of course we still want the dames don't we this is the most important thing about Panto as time changes as the years yeah. pass we still want two men where in a big pair of knockers. Yeah, well, if you look at you look at the Met the Met Ball last year, yes. you know, kind of uh, the, the, these costumes yeah. are not out of place these days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you know, the more the more outrageous they get, the more the more outrageous we can be. I was working out. It was 20 years since I first interviewed you here in Nottingham. Wow. We did it at Central TV when you were filming Family Fortunes. Right. I mean, you've been doing this a long time. It must be nice to be back. It is nice to be back, and it's nice to be back in this theatre. I was here in 1987 in Babes in the Wood, um, a panto that it doesn't happen anymore. Um, and of course, then came back here with Adam's family um, a couple of years ago. So it, this theatre is lovely to work, and you know, I, I know Nottingham from the Family Fortunes days. It's great great place to be and it's big but because it's a match it's one of the most beautiful I mean that must make a difference to the performers too where they can see you and hear you it's important great very, it makes it very very intimate and uh, 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 the palace was this is even more so in fact it's the first time I've been to this theatre knocked out by it I actually said to Les and I said yeah. who designed this yeah. oh, beautiful theatre I'm so looking forward to it I mean all the reports about the theatre of Nottingham they're out there in the world they're going, going to Nottingham it's a wonderful wonderful place to work wonderful theatre so like you say it is one of the classic Frank Matcham theatres and you know it is just um, it's a joy to be in when, when the lights are not on but you wait until you see it when it's lit it just is it's stunning it takes your breath away every entrance it's a couple of years since you were both in Coronation Street and here you are doing Panto. It's something like 700 performances a week. I mean, the discipline is very different. You do long days at Corry, but at least you get to sit down in between. This is a proper job, isn't it? It is a proper job. <laughs> and don't let anybody tell you that it's, uh, it, it's lightweight. It's not... Is your wig all right, love? Beautiful. I mean, I, you've but got a beautiful. bit of wobble on there. They ask you a couple of interesting questions before you come there. Can you sing? I don't know. Can you dance? <laughs> Let's see. Uh, I said, I'm with Les. He'll look after me. He'll show me the rope. So you're right. It's apples and oranges different. But with somebody like feeling you can be, if you're being horrible to practically everybody on the street, it's work, work, work. This is great too. I presume you're going to tell me being the baddie is always more thrilling than being the goodie because you're the one everybody talks about. Yeah. I guess yeah. it's true. Isn't it really? <laughs> and and what, what is great for us that we noticed last year when we, when we walked down at the end, they want to boo us, but they also want to cheer us. So it's a mix of both. So that, that's a big thrill for us because we are the villains you love to hate. Is it lovely walking down the street and, again, people love to hate you and get that your TV star's playing a part, but at the same time, have both had in different ways so many characters that we love. And, of course, most recently you. It didn't end well, did it? 
No, it's, it Rather ended exactly <laughs> exactly how we knew it was going to end. Right? I suppose that's the thing about playing the villain that you know there's an end point coming. But I've got to ask you, what do you think I got asked the most in the streets as Pat Feeling? Given all his crimes, all his misdemeanors, all his kind of strange behaviour, what do you think people ask me the most? Was it something about Norris? No, <laughs> no. There was a couple of Norris questions. Most of the time, people wanted to know if I really loved Eileen or not. Isn't that something? Doesn't that tell you something about people? It's like, yeah, yeah, we know all the horror, but we just want to know. Well, I want to know, did, did Phila <laughs> he love he never, Eileen? He never really had to answer that, did he? he? I think there were a few clues throughout where he did. He really did. But isn't that so British? Well, forgive you for being a mass murderer as yes. long as you love your missus. Yes. yes. It's yeah. the, it was the it first was like time that. when I when I played Michael, it was the first time that instead of eh, eh, down the street, I would be getting, where's Gail? Right. So it was, it, was, it was a change. A change is as good as a rest. You brought great fun to that programme and levity and drama and all of that. And here you are today putting this on. How long does it take? Is it a four hour process to look like you? Les is really very good. Yeah. I kind of have to watch him and I smudge things, but people help me out. So great talking to you. We can't wait to see you here in Nottingham in Cinderella at the theatre all this Christmas. You're two legends and two pros. Thank you for coming. We appreciate you. Such a pro, I'm going to tell you the dates. Can I tell you the dates? <laughs> we are here from the 30th of November, twice daily, until the 5th of January. I've asked management to add in a few 11 o'clocks just to keep you on your toes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks. He is a pro. Real pleasure to talk to you. Nice Thank to you. talk to you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.